All right, so I'm gonna clean my bathroom with the iRobot M6 mop. All right, I'm gonna do a, a spot clean, not a spot clean, but just this room. I'm not gonna use the app whatsoever. I'm just gonna put it in here and have it go to work in here. All right, so, and one of the reasons why I'm doing that is because the, when I'm mopping, I can't go over this ledge right here because the Roomba will detect this and for some reason it thinks that, that this is a rug and will not go over that. So I have to do a clean this room by itself. So I'm gonna place the Aurora Roomba M6 in here to mop this floor. Let me get started. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove the water tank from out of this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the Roomba, I'm gonna lift up the lid right here and then there is a latch for the water tank and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. Uh, so I have the tank right here and what I'm going to do is if you look up on the side right here There is a door for opening it right here is showing that the door is locked now to unlock it and open up to add water just Simply turn it right here and pull it out like that. And this is the gasset that goes into there All right, so I'm going to fill this up. So first I'm going to place that right down there and before I get started with um, putting the tank back into the Roomba I'm gonna take this right here. This is the solution that comes with the iRobot Roomba M6 mop. This is a solution pack. This right here, you pour this solution into the tank as it shows right here and add, then add water. So for this particular solution that came with the box, you pour in half of the bottle and then you fill the tank up with water so that's what i'm going to do right here so i'm going to go ahead and open this and right here is a safety seal so i'll just pop the safety seal I'll probably use a butter knife instead of the method that i used so i'm just going to pour half of the solution in here so i'm going to go ahead and pour half the solution all right that's about half of the solution in here Put the bottle over there, close the cap back up so it doesn't spill everywhere. And then I'm going to fill this up with just some tap water. So let me go ahead and fill that up. Tap water. I'm going to fill it all the way up um, because that's what the instructions say. So I'm going to fill this up. Right there, a little bit more. All right, that's good. And then I'm going to replace this, put this back into the M6 mop and get started. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this back in here. So I'm gonna take it, put the tank back in there, close the latch. All right, after I put the, the top on, back on here for the uh, to seal it up. And you see what I did? I closed this up. I don't know if I showed you how to do that. Just put this back into place. Place this back in here. Close that. Close this. And now I'm going to pick up the Roomba. And I have attached to it, as I showed you before, the uh, one-time cleaning mop underneath it. Uh, or not mop, but um, the pad. I put that on there. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this to the bathroom. All right, so I have the pad in place for the mopping, and I'm just going to place it right here. And if you look right here, it shows, it says clean. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press this, and it's, I believe it's Attach going to... Attach the pad, then press clean. Oh, attach pad. I did it. Attach a pad, then press clean. All right, so it's saying that I did not attach a pad. So let me go ahead and look at this. Flip this over. All right. Oh, it wasn't all the way in place. So I put it all the way in place. All right, now I have it back over here. And it says, then press clean. Watch it clean. So 
So it's spraying solution out and it's going to clean. It's going back and forth. All right, so it's gonna keep on going back. Spraying more solution out. And so what's going to happen is after it does this, after it finishes uh, with the cycle, I'm going to show you the pad afterwards and let you know and show you how dirty it is. One thing I don't like, I don't like how it's banging into the walls. I'm hoping once it learns the, the room well, that that banging will not occur. It's slowed right there. It's spraying more solution. And it's going back. See, I do not like it how it's banging against the walls. That is not what I signed up for. But right now, it's, it's, it's going. Spraying solution. It gets somewhat wet, not too wet. But it's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and let this do its job. And I'll come back after it's done and we'll see what the progress is like all right and it's just going back and forth into a zigzag motion all right we'll see what it's like afterwards all right i'll check in it in a little bit all right the roomba is done and so now it's time to check up on it so i'm going to come on down here and i'm going to look at this so i'm going to look at it. it's cleaned it's done it's ready to be put back in the charger Look underneath and look at the dirt and grime that it got off of this floor of just one cleaning cycle. This is the dirt that came up from the floor. Right there, it's a lot of it on here. I wasn't sure how dirty the floor was, but the Roomba did its job. It cleaned it up nicely. And when you're done, this is single use. I'm probably gonna do another room with this before I take this off. To eject it, you just go ahead down here and press this. And it's supposed to eject, if I press that, it's supposed to eject the cloth and I can just throw it in the rubbish. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, I have the M6. I just did a run with it in the restroom, cleaned pretty well. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some adjustments. So what happened was when I was using the Roomba inside of the restroom, it was bumping into the walls, uh, a little bit too hard for my liking. And I'm aware that once the Roomba, uh, comes, you know, custom to your, your household, to the rooms, it will bump into things a lot less than when it initially started your initial run. But I don't have time to, to wait for all that. I don't want to have any damage to my floorboards or, you know, the, you know, the boards or the walls or anything like that. So I have a solution. And this is a solution that I've, I used with one of my older model Roombas uh, to keep the walls from being banged up too much. And what I have here are, is felt, soft, safe, secure. Now you can get this from Target or Walmart. Uh, this type of thing right here, it actually, uh, you put this... On, uh, I, this is a little hack that I had. I put it onto the Roomba and it keeps it from banging into the walls as hard. If it does bang into the walls, it's a nice cushiony felt, soft, safe, secure bump. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on my M6 so I can have the same results as when I put them on my older model Roomba. Now what I'm going to do is, I see where it's coming out at, at the bottom. So I'm going to just like, uh, these right here, they bend a little bit. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put, um, you know what, I'll just put one, two right here. Or maybe I'll put it right here on the corner. All right. One on the corner right here. And perhaps one on the corner right here. Because I just don't want them bumping into it so hard so i have one on the corner right here one in the corner and it's probably not going to look as nice i mean if you want it to look nice i mean you could do that and then one on the front all right i'm not going to put one over this button right here because this is the cleaning pad release button and i don't want that to be bothered so i'm going to put this on here it looks kind of 
funny with that. Maybe I'll put another one on this side to make it look less um, standout-ish. All right, so I'm gonna put one on that side as well. So I have some on the corner right here, so it doesn't hit the corners uh, and damage. And then I have two on the front. And this solution right here should protect the walls uh, from the banging that the Roomba will do um, because it hasn't mapped out the room quite yet. All right, let me know if you have any questions about this entire video. I hope you find the M6 to be helpful with your cleaning solution. I'm rambling on. But let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.